In this video, we're going to take a look at a legal problem called spiral matrix. So given an M times N matrix, so return all elements of the matrix in a spiral order. So here you can see that we have a 2D array. And we're basically given a 2D array, a matrix, and we want to return a spiral, spiral order of the um, 2D array in a one directional array. So that's the output. And here you can see that we have going from this direction to here. So first we're going right, and then we're going down, and then we're going left, and then go up, and then and then we're going to continue the spiral. Um, and here's uh, you can see here's another example. So we're basically going from uh, left to right, um, down to, so top to down, and um, right to left, and then um, down to up, and then yeah, basically just continue. And there will be inner uh, elements and we have to um, traverse as well. So here you can see we have a little more, a little more bigger 2D array. So, we're gonna, so the way how we're going to solve this problem is basically just um, just like I mentioned, for, um, for each iteration, we're going to traverse. Um, let me change the color real quick. So for each iteration, we're going to go from here to here, right? So basically the left all the way to the right. And then what we're going to do is we're going to um, basically move down because after we traverse this part, we're just going to shrink, shrink the array, um, or I should say sh um, basically shrink it so that we can just only traverse from here all the way to here, right? So here we just have to traverse from um, here to here. So in um, row two to row four. Right, and then uh, once we've done that, we also have to shrink the um, the the um, so basically shrink from shrink the array so that we can only traverse from here to here. Okay, so so basically we're going from here to here, and after we've done this, we can shrink the array. So basically we're only only traverse from row three to row two. Okay, so after that's done, that's our first iteration. And then we're going to continue to do this. So we're going to um, start from here to here. After we go from uh, column two to column three in row two, what we're going to do is we're going to um, start, start to shrink the array again. So basically, like these parts of the arrays are all gone. We're not going to like traverse them again. But what we're going to have is we're going to traverse from, from um, basically uh, top to down and and then we're going so basically traverse this element right here and then we're going to traverse from right to left which is right here this one and then after that's done we, we don't we don't have any elements left so we're just going to return the elements that are with uh, within the two uh, one directional array so let's try to do this in code I'll show you how we can do this so our first step is to create our list integer uh, elms. We're going to create a linked list because we don't need to access um, a specific element in the uh, in the one directional array. We're just adding the elements onto it. So, and then we're going to have our uh, borders. So in this case, we have our left, have our right, have our top, have our down. So we're going to define our borders right now. So top. Is equal to zero. Down is equal to matrix uh, dot length minus one. So that's the last element in this case. So this is the top. This is the bottom. Right. This is this is the left. This is the right. Okay. And then we also have our left. Have our right, which is equal to matrix. At zero dot length minus one. So basically, is the last element of the subarray. And then what we're going to do is we're going to um, basically we're going to um, use a while loop. And then basically, what's going to happen is we're going to iterate first, starting from the left all the way to the right. So let's try to do this. So integer i is equal to left. But i is less than or equal to the right. What we're going to do is we're going to add 
each and every single element onto the nums to the list. In this case, matrix at uh, top and i. So we're going to iterate from the top, so top left to the, to the right. After that's done, we're going to decrement, or I should, sorry, I should say increment top by one because we don't we want to shrink the, the top um, down so that we can be able to move inside. So move inside um, or spiral um, inwards. And then what's going to happen is we're going to start to go from the top to down. So now we're going from, we iterate the top side. We don't want to iterate this, this um, element three anymore. We want to iterate this, this element three uh, again. So we just want to start it from here, right? So what's going to happen is we're going to start from, so i is equal to top. So while i is less than or equal to um, down, Now what we're going to do is we're going to add our element onto the uh, the list. So in this case, we're going to say i and then um, and then the right. So we're going to iterate from the top to down on the on the uh, the right. So index or yeah index right, and we're going to move right one to the left because now we're done. We want to shrink the top side so the top side and the right side and now we're gonna move from right to left and once that's done we're gonna sh shrink um, <clears throat> the um, down to down um, we're gonna decrement down by one or I should say we're gonna sh shrink the, the bottom border and then we're also gonna eat right here and then we're gonna shrink the left border and that's how we're gonna do this and then we'll what's going to happen is we're going to use a for loop again. So starting from right, while right is bigger than or equal to left, what we're going to do is we're going to um, add each element um, onto the list. And then we're going to move down by one. So even so, we're basically moved down up so that we can. So basically, we're basically decrement down by one, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna iterate from down to up. So iterate from down to up. So like down. I is bigger than or equal to top. I'm gonna say I. One second. So I minus minus. So we're gonna add our current element. So onto the list, and then we're just gonna increment left by one so that we can shrink the uh, the left border. And here, what we're trying to do here is we we basically have to have a if statement. So if left is actually bigger than the right, or if right, it, or sorry, if top is actually bigger than, yeah, bigger than down, now what we're going to do is we're going to break the for loop, right? We're going to, sorry, we're going to break the while loop uh, in this case. So we're going to have this um, after each and every single for loop. And then at the end, we're basically just returning nums. Okay, so now let's try to run the code and submit. And here you can see we have our answer. So this is basically how we're going to solve the problem uh, using a linear time complexity. And n uh, is basically big O up n. N is the size of the matrix. So uh, basically how many elements in the 2D array. And uh, yeah, so time complexity is big O of N.